it's Roman and it's marketing watch house and welcome back on my channel I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and today I'm going to show you one more SQL thing that I have never shown to you before and believe me you're gonna love it so you remember our script from previous um, video when we created a search query report I love this I love this report a lot and I have asked you to create a few additional steps into this uh, report like excluding by status or something like this but what else is very useful is to for example find mm, I don't know ad groups with the five most spending um, or ad groups that have top 15 ad groups by spend. Yeah, that's a very common thing to show and to find and only to display those. But to make it, you have to first combine uh, the search query report. And based on this report, you can actually find the ad groups that are spending enough. And only based on that data, you can filter the data from this report. So to do all this uh, complicated filtering stuff, there is a very cool uh, way that is called with. With create, helps you to create several steps. For example, imagine you wrote a query that gives you this table and you call it table number one. And then you wanted to do something with table number one and call it table number two. And then so on and so on and so on. You can make a lot of different uh, manipulations with tables and in my future videos, I'm going to use with a lot. Let's have a look how it works. So first we type with, and then we give a name to the table. In this case, it's going to be queries as, and then parenthesis open, parenthesis closed. So if I just leave it right, uh, if I just leave it like here, go down and say, select everything from queries, queries, I'm going to end up with exactly the same table with exactly the same result. Sorry, I need to here to modify it back because I was testing something. Campaign name and then um, add group name. And I also need external customer ID or better account currency code and account descriptive name. And then let's bring this on top to make it beautiful and this below. Boom. Let's rerun the query and see the output. So this, if I just give, say with, give a name to this query and at the very end with no comma or something, just say select something from queries, I end up with exactly the same table as it used to be. So let's add there some cost. Cost, impressions, and clicks. Now I wanted to do another table that is going to be named as top ad groups. In this table, I take select. Um, I wanted to take account descriptive name. I want to take campaign name, and I want to take ad group name from these query stable I've just created on top here. I wanted to sum all the cost as cost. And um, I need to group by account name, campaign name and ad group name. I'm not using query here. So and then I'm going to say limit 15. So if I do top ad groups and edit edit here again I just here I have a comma again name of the table as parenthesis open parenthesis closed and I can make as many table they can be related to each other or unrelated to each other it can be absolutely different tables it's just tables you wanted to combine when you run the query I just say select everything from top ad groups and this is the most convenient and simple way to debug different queries step by step so you first make your first query and then do select everything from first. Then you do uh, create a second second table and do select everything from tab add groups. And it's a very convenient way of programming. You will see this a lot in upcoming videos. So this is my top 15 ad groups by span with some campaign name in Russian, some ad group name in Russian and some cost. 
importantly enough, I don't need cost at all. But what I need to do, and something that I definitely forgot to do, is here to order by cost uh, descending and run. Yeah, now it's top 15 ad groups. There is a cost here, but I don't actually need this cost. So let's try to delete this field at all. And here say order by some cost descending. Will it work? Yeah, it will work. Because we don't have any other aggregation. Yeah, we end up with exactly the same table. But just to make it more simple and like say convenient, let's stay with this um, cost and say it add group cost. Now I wanted to, sorry, now I wanted to take this data from top ad groups back join it to my queries and only with stay to stay with queries that are inside these top ad groups. I can do it in different ways. For example, one of the ways will be let's create a final table uh, as and then say we want to select everything from queries. And because here I don't use this weird single quotes and you be careful because just a single quote looks like this and this is a uh, curved uh, some kind of another way of doing the single quote that is usually in some keyboards are left uh, to on the left of the keyboard for example i have it on the tilde button so when because i just say this is queries i can say queries because this is the name of the table i don't need to do as queries anymore I just say queries dot star. So select me everything from queries table and then do, for example, add group cost and then left join top add groups using, and we have three dimensions in top add groups. One is account descriptive name, another is campaign name and another is ad group name. So I can use let me just copy this because I'm lazy and boom, done. So now I have the queries table, but I've joined top ad groups table on the right. So let's see how this looks like. Again, we change this to final because we've just added the new table there and I'm going to have exactly the same queries, but I'm also going to have ad group cost on the right. And in some cases, I have null. It's not zero, again, as I explained to you before, it's null, that means nothing. Because if that would be zero, that means that I have an ad group that is in top 15, that have zero cost, but it's still there. When I have null, that means this ad group is no, does not exist in this top ad groups table. So the only thing I need is to filter out all the queries that have ad group cost null. And most obvious way to do that would be where ad group cost equals null. But this is not correct way. In all other cases, you can say ad group cost equals five or minus 10 or zero, but when it's null, it's not zero, it's nothing. And if you Try to understand uh, if you try to filter something by nothing or not nothing, you need to use is null or is not null, but never equals null. And then let's rerun it. We used to have 999 queries and we ended up with 135. And add group cost is actually where everywhere null, where it should be is not null. Yeah, that was. Uh, easy one. Yeah, it's 864. Because in my MCC, I have very few ad groups with very few queries. When I filter out 15 top uh, ad groups, I actually have like 90% of all queries in my table. So it's 864 out of 999. And everywhere here is the ad group cost. Because I don't need ad group cost at all. I just delete it and just stay with queries.everything. So take everything from the queries table, join the top ad groups and only filter when ad group cost is not null. But don't show me this ad group cost column. 
Uh, okay, guys, that's uh, everything I wanted to tell you about with. Now, what you need to do. So right now I'm working with, um, um, I'm filtering out ad groups. I ask you to filter out campaigns. So find top five campaigns and show me the queries only from those five top campaigns, not on the ad group level. It's a very simple adjustment. Uh, I hope you will do it very fast. And again, with is one of the best things to debug your query and to write it very simple way. I will show you more in the upcoming videos. If you have any trouble or you don't understand something, ask me below in the comment section. And don't forget to put like, to subscribe to me on YouTube, on Medium and on LinkedIn. I love you guys and bye bye.